The future of sound system, it has, it has grown remarkably. All over the world it's grown. Um, and there's been massive explosions of sound system culture in the last about, I'd say, maybe since 2004, or even just before. Because in 2004, I would say it was very poignant because a lot of um, promoters came into the business, especially in Europe. Um, so more dances were taking place. It wasn't that the sounds weren't there or weren't going anywhere, it was just that there was more promoters, which meant there was more events, which means it was being exposed more to people, it was being advertised more. So there was a big boom in those early stages. And you have loads of sounds that popped up and then, you know, some of them dwindled and, you know, it's the usual set, you know, you have an explosion, then there's a calm, then there's another explosion. So it's a whole kind of sound system kind of revive, revival kind of thing. Um, how I see it in the future, there will be many more, many more sounds, many, many more sounds um, being built. Um, I'd hope that um, it becomes a norm, you know, where venues do open their doors to sound systems again, because there is a huge demise of, of where the sounds will play anymore. Um, but the demand is so great that I thought that they will need to come and open their doors because people will demand it automatically. They want to see sound system. Um, I don't know whether there has to be a purpose-built place or something, I'm not sure. But the demand is there, it's been, it's been, sound system has been made so cool that people want to be a part of it. Um, and that's where I kind of see, I see it growing and growing, but I'm not necessarily sure if it will be a London thing. I'm not sure. I think it's going to go back into the way the 90s were of like these raves and underground things. It's going to go underground, then it's going to come back again, you know, because that's what happened then. And that's what I think this is what's going to happen now. We're in that stage of where there's a, a little quiet. People are going to go out of London to hear sound systems play because we're, we, we have open doors there. We can go into all of these venues outside of London, but here it's so difficult. Abroad, great things. You have a lot of festivals. You have Rotatom, you have Reggae Gill, you have um, so many, you have I Revives. You have so many massive festivals in Europe now got taking place that always have a sound system corner, which is, which is always, always the most popular corner. Everybody loves the sound system corner. We have three or four sounds set up which is great because you're, you're having thousands and thousands of people being exposed to sound system. You know, at the last Reggae Guild there was, they said 90,000 people, you know, that attended that festival on that weekend and they were exposed to sound system culture. So that shows you how poignant it is and that how the demand is there for reggae music, you know. Reggae music is, it will always stand firm and be held highly, you know. We just kind of need that more in the UK. Otherwise, we'll be working abroad the majority of our lives.